Welcome back. This uh, next video is going to be on the M1917 revolver. Um, I had touched upon it real quick at the end of my last video, and uh, I was doing a little brief history of the M1911 pistol specifically made by Springfield Armory. So, uh, yeah, this little guy is a uh, another cool World War One era handgun. Uh, this is a Smith & Wesson M1917 45 ACP revolver, six shots. Um, these guys were produced by both Colt and Smith & Wesson during the war. Um, they both produced about 150,000, so 300,000 total between the two. Um, the reason these guys came into production was because we just, uh, we, when we entered the war, we didn't have enough uh, handguns to supply our military. Uh, even though we made uh, some 1911s during uh, 1914, 15, 16, we just, uh, when we entered World War I in 1917, we just didn't have enough to supply. So there was a demand for another handgun from troops. So uh, this guy was made. It's a large frame revolver. And as you can see here, model U.S. Army 1917, 102,000 serial number range. Um... It is empty. Actually pretty cool that you can uh, see it is serial number matching on cylinder, frame, barrel, everything. And then you can see a couple different markings here. You've got Smith & Wesson DA-45. You've got United States property marked here on the end of the barrel. And then you've got your patent. If we can get this to focus here. You've got your patent marks here, Smith & Wesson, Springfield, Mass, and your dates here. So definitely a really cool revolver. Um, I guess I, I don't know which one, you know, I'd, I'd probably rather have the 1911, but uh, in a pinch, you know, having a nice big large flame, large frame revolver, definitely, uh, yeah, I'd be okay with that especially in a trench. Um, so these guys took half moon clips. So you couldn't um, fire these. You couldn't fire around without having a moon clip in here because it potentially could get lodged in there. So what they did was, if you look here, there is this was their quick reload magazine pouch or ammo carrier for this uh, revolver. You've got three in each pocket, so you've got three reloads, essentially. Like I said, half moon clip, so each one is three rounds. Um, now this is original, 1918 dated, 45 ACP ammo. Obviously it's much slower doing this with one hand staring through a camera, with this not on your person, but that is how you would do a quick reload. Just take that right off your pouch and throw them in, and then, like I said, very clumsy trying to do it with one hand, but you get the gist of it. Everything still functions very well on this. The timing's great. Um, you can see these go. I mean, I bought mine for a decent price, probably about three or four years ago. Um, I see them going for some pretty stupid prices now, but I think that's kind of the trend, unfortunately, in, in 2020 and 2021, is a lot of the stuff is just going for stupid prices. Um, I originally bought this for probably about 600 bucks, and I've seen them on, like, Gunbroker, which isn't the greatest source, but I've seen them on Gunbroker for go for, like, 12 or 15, if you have the history for that specific one and just bananas but um so in addition to uh original 1918 pouch i just snapped these up to kind of get them out of the way for display purposes these um these do each have a little uh flap if i can get it off maybe not oh, okay well Maybe that was a bad idea, but, well, it displays well, <laughs> so I'm not going to be carrying it. This is a, an original holster uh, for this 1917. Um, 
you can see this one's in super super rough shape uh it's cracked and it's you know starting to, to chip off and whatnot so this one i got for super cheap um but usually they're they're pricey but a lot of them are missing this bottom plug piece here that has this little metal loop on it for the leg tie down so i figure i'll sacrifice again i'm not going to be using it it's just for display purposes so i'll sacrifice the shape of it and because it does have that and i got it for a very good price so i'm not going to complain about that so uh one interesting thing about the holsters for these is if you noticed it is a um it sits the wrong way so it's actually a left-handed cross draw holster so it sits on your right hand side but the butt of the gun faces the front of you know towards the front as opposed to facing towards the rear uh like i said that's known as a left-handed cross draw um one way to distinguish that from the world war ii era is that the world war ii era holsters they look almost the same but they they sit the right way so like this guy here is a world war ii era one so that would sit with the butt going behind you. But this one, like I said before, is missing that plug like a lot of them are. And uh, someone had added this. The original World War I ones do not have that. It just went through the belt. Um, so someone added that at some point. And yeah, the leather is in better condition. But I'd rather have the correct World War I style um, for the, for, you know, on display for my collection. But uh, yeah, I thought that was a cool little interesting tidbit on that. So yeah, that's a, again, a brief little um, novices history lesson on the M1917 Smith & Wesson 45 ACP revolver. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, be good.